Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and this is a special surgeon question and answer session all about the top three misconceptions of robotic mitral valve surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Arner Gearson, who is the director of the Surgical Heart Valve Program at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Irving Medical Center in New York City, New York. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Gearson has performed over 500 robotic mitral valve operations. Dr. Gearson, it is great to see you again, and thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for inviting me. It's a great pleasure to be here. Yeah, so Dr. Gearson, I know you're in between robotic cases right now at New York Presbyterian, so let's get right to it. What is one of the big misconceptions about robotic mitral valve surgery? One of the questions I get asked a lot is actually, who is doing the operation? Is the robot doing the operation and, and who controls? And in reality, it's me, the surgeon, who does the operation. You know, the robot is just a tool to do the operation less invasively. There is a special console that I sit at and control. And then the actual robot is at the bedside. Uh, there is always an assistant who changes out instruments. But I, the surgeon, actually controls and do the operation. Very helpful, Dr. Gerson. What's the second misconception about robotic mitral valve surgery? Another question people ask about it is, you know, what are the outcomes? Are the outcomes the same compared to robotic versus autonomy approaches? And I think the answer to that is there appears to be it is as safe and as good as uh, stenotomy. I think there's a fair amount of uh, uh, data that suggests that, first of all, how long you stay in the hospital, how fast your recovery is, your pain level, requiring blood transfusions and getting atrial fibrillation or faster at heart rate after the operation is less frequent with robotics. The other question is important to ask, you know, what is the quality of the repair? How easy is to repair the mitral valve? And it seems to be as good or even sometimes even more reliable to repair the valve, although it's difficult to really prove that. I think all the data suggests with all, all the literature that's out there that robotic surgery is as safe, as effective as stenotomy approaches or other approaches to the mitral valve. Dr. Gearson, it's great to hear about the outcomes, effectiveness, and safety. What's another misconception about the robot? A third common question I get is, 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 is robotic surgery open heart surgery? You know, and the answer to that is, is, strictly speaking, yes, it is an open heart surgery, but it depends a little bit how you define it. You know, so in robotic mitral valve surgery, we use the heart-lung machine, which so takes over the function of the hearts and the lungs. So that would, I think, in many ways qualify as an open heart surgery. However, we use small incision. Instead of opening up the front of the chest, we use small incisions or ports in the right side of the chest. It's really minimally invasive cardiac surgery. Dr. Garrison, thanks for those misconceptions about robotics. I know you have to get back to the operating room, the robotic operating room. And on behalf of patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, thanks to you and your team there at New York Presbyterian Columbia University Medical Center in New York, New York. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks, Adam. Really appreciate it being uh, uh, offered to come on your, uh, your site. And, and thanks for all the things you're doing for patients with heart valve disease. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.